Hey, how's it going, you guys? This is Pat Platypus here, and it's time to review episode 45 of Yu Yu Hakusho. This was a very, very good episode of Yu Yu Hakusho. We get really good story progression, actually, because we finish off the Hiei fight, and then we move on into another fight. So, and that's pretty much the entire episode. We get some stuff with Yusuke, and I'll talk about that, too, but, uh, yeah. There's not much to say, but I'll briefly mention it. So the overall summary... Dude's in bird mode. Bird lizard mode. He's attacking Hiei. Pretty cool. He's blitzing around, slamming him. Hiei does this really cool... Th I'm a sucker for the rapid punch. He does this cool rapid punch to the gut with fire. But it doesn't work because the dude already adapted to flames. He's like a fucking Kecleon, right? Like from Pokemon? Like he just does the type change and then you can't hurt him. It's crazy. But anyways. Um, so yeah. He does that. Also, this probably came before Kecleon, but whatever, you know what I mean. Um, so, he does that. He is getting his ass kicked. Then the dude's like, I'm gonna switch to fucking werewolf mode. And he switches to werewolf mode. And then fucking blood fountain, like Yusuke, but to a more ridiculous degree. He picks up a piece of his sword, and he says, like, this vulgar whatever move. And what he ends up doing is, basically, he copies Kuwabara's spirit sword... But he puts the Dragon of the Darkness Flame inside the sword so it doesn't affect his body, which is really smart. Cuts the dude to pieces. The announcer chick was funny when she was like, none of his pieces have gotten up after the 10 count, so Hiei wins. That was kind of a funny line. And Hiei is badly injured, so they roll the dice, and now Kurama's going to go up. And he ends up fighting this little mini dude who I, it has to be the voice actor of Edward Elric, Vic Mignogna because it just sounds just like him. It didn't sound like him at first, but when he started getting all cocky, when he... Because he has, like, this sob story, like, oh, man, they kidnapped my grandma, and they to end you kill her, and it's like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> That's bullshit, and Karama falls for it, and he fucks over Karama with these fucking strings, and then that's when he sounded like Edward Elric, when he started being cocky. Then he, uh, then he makes this fucking barrier... Also, the announcer chick was inside that area, so it'd be interesting to see what she looks like, because apparently what it was supposed to do was make you younger, but not affect him for some reason. And it affects Kurama, but it backfires, because Kurama goes back so far that he turns into fucking Inuyasha, like straight up, ears, white hair, just fucking <sighs> Inuyasha. <laughs> and I don't even watch that show, but yeah, he looked like Inuyasha. Not identical, obviously, but... It was pretty damn similar. So, yeah, he's in, like, his, you know, ultimate super form, not trapped in a pre-human body. He's probably going to fucking crush this dude and crush their whole team. But is he a friend or a foe is the question, because he's not acting like the Karama we've already seen. He's acting different, so we'll have to see about that. Now for the Yusuke stuff. I'm a fucked up bastard, but it's funny, dude. When you have Keiko, like, oh, we got to get to Yusuke right away. And then it cuts to Yusuke, and he's just screaming his fucking head off in pain. Or when it cuts to, like, the cave entrance, and you just hear the screaming from inside. It, for some reason, it just struck me as funny. Like, when it shows him coughing up blood, it's not funny. But when he's just, like, rolling around on the ground and just screaming, it's kind of funny for some reason. I don't know why. I, it just it strikes me that way. I'm not a fucked up dude, but it just strikes me as funny for some reason. And I'm not making fun of it, I still appreciate what the scene is trying to show. It just happens to come across that way. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything in the episode. Uh, animation was actually pretty nice. The pacing was very solid. The story progression was pretty good. So it was an all-around very good episode. Give it like an 8 out of 10 to an 8.5 between very good and great. Especially the fucking Karama transformation. That's very, very interesting. So we'll have to see where that goes. I forget what his name was, but... Yeah, Yoko? Or I don't remember, but something like that. He uh, transforms, so we'll have to see what he does. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, there was this really weird scene where Ogre and Koenma have, like, these stern-ass fucking faces. I don't know what the fuck that was, but whatever. Anyways, that's the episode. 8.5, point whatever, I don't know. 8 point, like, 1 or 2, I fuck it. Very good episode of Yu Yu Hakusho. So, thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of this episode of Yu Yu Hakusho in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.